T-Bone, the dominant male leopard at Zimanga has healed completely from his encounter with Imposter Mfula after he crossed the river into T-Bone's territory one night. But the experienced T-Bone doesn't have so many war wounds for nothing and taught the young Mfula a lesson in territory ownership. The life of the king is better than ever because his offspring has arrived. Vugile, a first-time mother, gave birth to two healthy little cubs. At first, all they do is drink milk and sleep. But after about eight days, their eyes open and they can move around a bit more. To keep them safe, Vugile moves her den fairly frequently. As the cubs get stronger, they start exploring their surroundings. And there is so much to learn. They build their strength by playing with one another. And of course, they pester their mother. There is nothing like chasing mom's tail. The cubs grow stronger and after four months in the den, they start accompanying Vugile away from their protective shelter. They also start eating meat and she communicates with them using vocal signals. During the hunt, they stay quiet and hidden. But as soon as she gives the call, they join her on the kill. Vugile is a good mother, but even she can't protect the cubs from all the dangers out there. Snakes are a particular threat to cubs. And one morning, only one cub remains at Vugile's side. This little cub is now the only offspring of T-Bone's bloodline, and he still has many dangers awaiting him. If Mfula comes into T-Bone's territory, he will most likely kill the cub out of competition. This act will also cause the female to come into estrus again, and the imposter will try and mate with her. And the threat is now all too real. Mfula is back his telltale tracks crossing the river once again. T-Bone picks up on his scent and follows him. The younger leopard is challenging T-Bone outright, adamant to mate with Vugile and depose T-Bone. This means war. The reigning king must either submit or turn and fight. And when male leopards fight, it's fierce. Both could sustain serious injuries or even be faced with death. T-Bone closes in on his rival. T-Bone's life, his hold on his territory, and the future of his cub hangs in the balance. And T-Bone is hurt. A blow to his face leaves a deep gash. Mfula, being younger and bigger, takes the beating better. He rubs his scent on the vegetation 
a clear territorial display. T-Bone turns his back on his enemy, but it's unclear who the reigning male is. With T-Bone's pride hurt, it looks like the title is leaning towards the imposter. Vugile is distressed. She calls to her cub. But there is no response. The silence is not a good sign. Then Vugile finds her cub. For a leopard, this is the way of life. So are the laws of the bush. Being on top of the food chain is a cutthroat business. But T-Bone isn't finished yet. His will to survive is a powerful force. Instinct drives these big cats. And in a short while, Vugile is an estrus again. She finds T-Bone in his still injured state. This doesn't stop him. Still wounded and sore, he reaffirms his dominance by mating with her again. As long as he's alive, he will fight for himself and his genes. <laughs> the imposter is back on the right side of the river, also injured. He knows he can't fight an experienced opponent while hurt, but as soon as he's healed, he may try again. Without guts, there's no glory. Back on T-Bone's turf, the older leopard seems to have restaked his claim as he has regained his strength. For now, Vugile remains his female. Manga.